Hey guys, it's me Evie, and today we are going to be following a James, a James Charles makeup tutorial. I know I might have made a makeup video before. I'm not exactly sure, but so it is a mermaid Halloween makeup tutorial. This will be a longer processed video, but I'll try to make it go as fast as possible for you guys. All right, let's get into it. Woo! All right, so I'm I have my earbuds in. I just have to do this. Come on. Oh, here. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Scared me. Okay. I'm just scooching forwards. Okay. Okay, so he's saying to put a full face of foundation. Well, wherever you're doing the makeup. So that's what I will be doing. I have like a whole makeup set up right there. So I'll show you guys in a quick couple seconds. Just give me a second. All right, so I have it right here. Wait, wait, sorry guys. I'm not used to putting on too much makeup. But yeah, I have, I use the powder stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a beauty guru at all. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if he wants me to go into it. So I'm just like plopping the foundation onto my face. And see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Just gotta see how the flow goes, you know? He just said put foundation on, so well, that's what he's doing. In the case, in the case, I just do a face, not I don't do a, I don't do my neck. I just like do this on the very bottom. I have. I'm not using the same palettes. I'm using like so many different palettes at once. So it's not the same. Um. So it's a little bit different. So I have my foundation on. It doesn't look like it, but I do. Sorry guys. I'm new to this, you could say. Well, I'm not new to YouTube, but I, I'm just gonna do this for some reason. I don't know. I'm gonna set you right there. You better not move. Okay. So he says you have to put it on your neck, so I will do that. Because he said that we're doing some. I'm doing something with my neck, okay? So I got mine's powder. You, I'm doing full face, which my powder is not the best powder, but it works. So he's using concealer. I do not have concealer, so ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I will put his link, the link for the video down below. So no worries, you can watch the video, copy his video or mine. I'm trying to do the best. Okay, so he is using setting powder, so. Okay, so glow setting powder and a, like a light shade of setting powder. So, um, yeah, I have both of those, so that works. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so he's starting. Sorry, guys. So he's starting with the setting the rubber setting powder and then he is just out. 
sorry guys i'm clumsy sometimes and that's basically all the time he's putting i don't know why i did that but so he's putting that underneath his eyes so like i'm guessing for eye bags like to clear up eye bags but he's concealer so i don't really know and i am young so if you hear any weird noises that's just my brother so and on the nose bridge like this like where you'd put that and then contour so okay so he said go a little bit harsh with the contour I use my finger for contouring for some reason. I just feel like it's right. It gives it some. It's not really, really working. I guess I'll just get a darker shade. <clears throat> Go on, show off. Um. Okay, so it is showing up in there with not much in camera, but, um, so, yeah, let's try to make this work. Okay, alright, back to the video. Alright. Okay, so he said to blend it. Um, so either use your dark skin tone and like blend it in with the foundation, and, like your skin tone. Um, I'm just using my fingers to make the process go longer. Um, but so that now you guys can see it there we go and then just like blend that in is what he said so but um yeah so just blend that in sorry guys my phone's I don't have the best setup at all. So, all right, so just blend that in as best as you can. And then, all right. All right, so he's using setting powder. I mean, not setting powder. Um, He's using like the spray stuff that makes it stay or whatever okay okay so he is doing his brows oh i will <laughs> go ahead and get my brows done all at right now so oh, i got to go on focus so sorry guys i my stuff is weird Okay, so mine's like a liquid brow. Yeah, it goes on fairly, really dark. Um, but so yeah, that goes on and on and on. And um, my last vlog, or possibly two vlogs ago, I um, sorry, I don't know why I'm using my finger. I just used the makeup. I just use a makeup remover and remove my mistakes. Yeah, my stuff, I really like my stuff because it just like soaks in. And sometimes if I think it's too dark, I just go all the way over it and poof, it's good. Well, it's lighter in person, so I like it like that. I try to match it with my skin tone, um, my hair. But, all right, so let's go. I'm just, 
Okay. Um. Okay, so he wants it to un be like the underwater wet feeling. Clear gel. Oh. So he's using this stuff to like buff up the brows. Um. I have that. I use this and then I use like I use that brush and then I grab this teeny tiny brush. <sighs> it's a little bit dirty, but that's okay because I was scrolling through earlier. Okay, so let's continue on with the video. Sorry guys. Okay, sorry guys. It like started over for some weird reason. Okay, so um, I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay, so he said use M513. I don't have ex his exact one, but I have, sorry guys, my camera is not the best at all, but, so like, lime greeny, I have a lime green sparkly, so that's what I am using. Um, so, yeah. Inner corner. I actually do multiple. And then go along the crease. And not the best makeup artist. I think that looks pretty good. So like start in the inner corner and just poof it up. <laughs> okay, and then a bright yellow shade. And then just go over the edge of it. Vroom, vroom, vroom right over it. I do have a yellow over it. And then just, and then use light teal shade. Um, I have a teal shade, not a light teal shade. And then he said right above the natural crease. So, like that. <clears throat> and then he said to form an outer V. So, this is what he's doing. Just carving it like that. There we go. Um, and then I will copy it. Okay, yay. This is looking so good on me. <laughs> and he said to... And how there's the like little you um get a darker blue teal color and then that goes close 
towards me, but like over the whole lid. Okay, that did not work the best for me. Um, but yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, y'all. Um, that's working. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly. Copy that onto the other, other side. <laughs> and then he said to like blend it out. And then use concealer if you have it. I don't. And then use a light, a light blue. And then put that over the lid hood part. Okay. I do. Oh my gosh, so silly. I got that. Sorry guys, if my this eye looks weird. I just got some eyeshadow on it. Whoa, it looks so different. I'm using the. I think there's possibly two like tutorials. Sorry guys, I think there's possibly like two two tutorials. I'm using the first tutorial. Okay, so I don't have that thin of a brush. But I'll try my best with the one brush, well, my uh, couple brushes I got. Um, so, then like, up and over the lid, just don't let it there, is what he's doing. So, this is looking so good in person. It looks pretty good on camera too. And then, Use a beige and put it all the way over the lid. Same there. And then use the first teal color. That looks good. There you go. And the really light down there. And then if you have extension glasses, pop it there. And if you don't, just grab a, and then just grab a mascara tube. And just and we dip again. Just make it try to kind of look like a dramatic eye. And then, boom, that's that. Thank you guys for watching, and so see you guys later. Bye!